Hi guys, Kevlar here. So we're back in our Stranded Deep walkthrough. We're on day five, so annoyingly, I actually recorded most of this and my PC crashed and lost a recording. So I'll have to tell you what I've done. So we were initially on that island over there. So the plan was today we wanted to travel to another island to find a bigger island for us to set camp up. So I've already traveled over here on our boat and I've set up the basic camp, which fair enough, it doesn't really matter. You don't need to see me do that because I've taught you how to do that before. And the fact that I always do this basic camp on every island I go to. Yeah, we are quite happy with this island because it's pretty big. Uh, I don't know if you remember the last episode, we had a look at the map before we finished and we said that we'd have a bit of a search for a new home in this episode and the fact that there was a really nice big island not far from us and the fact that we had spawned actually right in the middle of the map anyway we didn't want to travel too far because we still want our home island to be in the middle of the map to make future trips easier so here we are so it's now half past one so just before we crashed or actually luckily I'd saved it but we're gonna go in the water and uh, yeah, try and get our SPF down a bit and then go to some shipwrecks. Bearing in mind we're going to have sharks around so we've got to keep an eye out for those. But yep, yeah, go and do some looting around here. So yeah, we don't really want barrels yet. We'll just leave them on there, but we, at least we know they're there. Right up there, can I get it? Yep. Yeah. Let's have a look what we've got in here. Empty, empty. Couple of bits in there. Leather's good. It's good for us making um making a new axe when we need to. So there's a storm now, so that'll help our SPF go back up anyway. But let's have a look at this boat over here. Right, anything up here? Some more barrels. Again, I'll leave them there for now. We don't need them yet. Good for when we want to make a bigger boat. Can't get in that door. Anything in here? Container. And anything else. There must be another floor, right? We can get up higher. Yep. Right. Should be a crate in here, yep. More leather. Ah, a few more bits and bobs with full. Let's just a few bits in this crate Let's see what we can empty get that up get these okay so that looked like that was it for that boat alright let's go and dump a few bits right now what I did want to do on this episode was actually tell you how to cure yourself and how to make a oh, snake how to cure yourself from poison and also how to make some shark repellent to make it easier swimming around the ocean when you're hunting for things so I'm gonna purposely poison myself now one of these horrible things will poison me Right, okay, so I'm also going to hijack this video because I'm going to use this as just a separate video to load, you know, a, a quick tutorial on how to cure yourself poison. So, how do we check that we're poisoned? So, as you can see here, we're poisoned. We've got the horrible mark on our arm. And if we have a look at our status on our watch, it says poisoning. So, that can be poisoning from either one of these. There's eels in the water that will poison you. There's also lionfish, snakes. So there's various different things that will poison you and they'll all give you exactly the same poisoning illness and it's all the same way to cure it. So then what we want is a PP plant, which I've got a couple over here. Oh, actually, yeah, they're already in my backpack, but I'll explain where you get them from. Just gonna drop a few bits. So I'm emptier. Right, so PP plants look like this. And you find them in sort of areas like this where there's sort of, you know, kind of like a leafy patch. 
So I already picked this one up, but for example, the way it would look, so you find a leafy patch like that. And and the pee, pee plant will kind of be in the middle there, so they're kind of quite bright green. So they're usually quite easy to spot, especially when they, if they're on dark grass like this, so it might be like there. You can usually spot it. So yeah, so a lot of islands will have them, the smaller islands might not have any peepee -pee plants, but I've already found two on this bigger island. There's a horrible snake, that'll get you. Right, so what we also need is a coconut flask. So we need to go and get a coconut to make a flask. So we'll go over here, pick a coconut from a low tree. Got our coconut and we need some lashing. Where's my axe? Did I drop my axe? I was dropping everything, I must have dropped my axe as well. That's annoying. Oh, there it is. Horrible when you lose your axe. Right, so there's a yucca tree over here, so let's just knock that down and get some lupus leaves. Right, okay, so now we've got our four, at least four fibrous leaves. We need four to create a lashing. Now we've got our coconut and our lashing in a backpack. We can create a coconut flask. And now we get our coconut flask and our pee pee leaf or pee pee flower, whatever it is, plant. We can create our antidote. There we go. And we drink our antidote. And we will see our stats. Status effects, our poisoning has gone and our lumps or spots on our arms gone, so we're all healthy again. Now the other thing I wanted to show you in this one was, I'm just looking for a stick. Got a stick already, I'm gonna create a fishing spear and we're gonna go on a quick hunt for a lionfish because we need a lionfish to make a shark repellent. So yeah, this episode, I did actually say up on my way sailing here in the boat, but obviously, like I say, that recording got lost. And that's why you need shark repellent. So bloody sharks come out of nowhere. Um, so we might struggle to find a lionfish without getting killed here. Anyway, yeah, so this episode, we've kind of got to a point now on day five. Oh, been poisoned again. It could have been a lionfish that got us that I didn't see. But yeah, now we're on day five. It's kind of a point where, you know, we're surviving. We've got our basic base. We know how to make food. We know how to get water. So really, there's not a lot more to really sort of just teach in terms of getting started. That's why, first of all, I thought I'd just go through a few things about how to cure yourself. And now we've got by the shark, right? I don't think we're going to do the shark repellent today because it's going to get too dark. But yeah, so it's going to be more about curing yourself and things like that. And we wanted to really start making a base on our, our new island. And really from now on, after day five, it's just about making the game your own. You know, no real steps to follow. Just survive, make your base, go searching. Right, so we are double injured now. So we've got a bandage. So that's what you need to cure a... When you're bleeding from a shark attack. So you've usually got a bandage in your dinghy when you first start. And you can often find them on the shipwrecks. Um, but you can actually make bandages yourself. So in the consumables, all you need is a lashing and some cloth. And then we're poisoned again. So we might as well use that PP plant that we've got now to cure ourselves so in the next episode we'll do some shark repellent because I can't go swimming now anyway it's too dark so I tend to do the shark repellent first thing in the morning when the lights when the sun's coming up so you've pretty much got all day of shark repellent so you can go swimming and collect things right so time is now quarter past seven in the evening so really all we can do now is start collecting things off this island Oh, snake. Definitely don't want to get poisoned again, so we don't know if there's any more peepee -pee plants on this island. Oh. Okay. My um, axe is broken. So we need to get some stones. 
and create a new axe. Create that. Get another one. What else do we need? Surely we need lashing, right? You just need lashing for everything. Lashing. Okay, we've got a crude axe, but how do we make the refined axe? So I need one more stone, and which is in my hand actually, so I can create that. And then, did we have leather with us? Or did I drop that over here somewhere? Yeah, there we go, leather. There we go. Refined axe is a lot better. So we can chop these trees down quicker. I'm just going to collect a load of sticks. And then we'll start doing a little base. Alright, if you're looking for some more, I guess, tips and tricks rather than a walkthrough. Some of my earlier videos that I did on Stranded Deep, I did some quick tips and tricks videos. So I'm going to do some new ones, like more specific anyway. Like I said, I'm going to use that um, antidote. That I filmed on this one just to do a specific one on how to cure yourself but I did two videos earlier on if you have a look I'll, I'll actually link them up here so you can uh, see a little pop-out banner come up there's one which was I think it was 20 15 or 20 quick tips and tricks in one video so yeah if you're searching for something specific on YouTube you won't find them that's the thing so I think I should have done them all separately so when you're searching for help on a specific topic you'll actually find them rather than just generic tips and tricks but yeah so if you go and look at those it's, it's a good start actually because you'll see a lot of tips in one quick video and then i did a specific one on building as well like 15 building tips in one video where as like i say this one's been a bit more of a walkthrough so what to do in the first few days really to get your survival going like I said, I think we've kind of reached the end of uh, that startup guide because we are now fully surviving. So now you just get do what you want, build your base, go searching, explore. Well, go attack the bosses if you really feel com confident enough. But at this stage, I'm still more keen on you know leveling up, getting my base sorted. Right, so we've got a load of sticks now. Right, so hammer. I brought a hammer with us so we could do some building. So what's the time now? 9.51, so we've got two more hours of day five. Right, let's build something. Ah, oh, you little shit. Fine, we'll, um, we'll cure ourselves another time. It's not going to kill us in the next two hours. Right, so building. What should we build? Uh, start off with our wood foundation. So... Obviously you want to start off at the highest point of where you're building. So if I do my wood foundation here and then try and build that way, it's going to be like in the sand. So that's the highest point of my build. So I'm just going to stick that there. We're just going to do a very basic beach hut to start off with. I always, always start basic and then I just start building on it. There we go. A little two by two hut to start off with. And then we'll probably end up building this out. See a bit more, making a little boat jetty. Again, if you look back at my earlier videos, you'll see my first gameplay of this where I did some pretty huge builds. Right, so we'll just go for the basic wood wall. Actually, no, I like the one with windows. It uses less sticks and it looks nicer. Right, we'll put the door here so we can get in from the side. Go there. And then this side, yeah, I was going to do half walls just run out so it's more like a, a little balcony that we can see out of need some more sticks already I think we're gonna go over our day five yeah we've got 20 minutes that's 20 minutes in game so no chance that's gonna be done the time I chop these, chop these logs up but it's fine we usually start the episodes in the morning anyway don't we so I sleep and then we start the episode so we're not eating into day six, really. Right, there we go. We should have enough sticks now to finish off our little hut. One more half wall. There. And then... Build all these. Sometimes I actually leave these little half walls like that. Like half built. So it's a bit more like a... A balcony rail. Right, and we'll stick a little roof on it. I think we just need... Corner roofs. 
one on a roof corner turn it around there we go roof done we just need to do a door don't have to do a door do we but we will do a door there's my door there's my door oh we need lashing lashing such a pain but like you constantly need lashing there we go is that enough for some lashing yeah right let's go and do that door good door there we go now ideally i'll do some little stairs there but i bet to do stairs we need more lashing don't we yeah what's the time yes three o'clock in the morning we're poisoned we're very thirsty gosh she didn't warn me did she she just says i'm thirsty poisoning doesn't help that does it right okay so i think we'll leave it there so there we go done our little hut obviously we uh got a bit past day five but hope you enjoyed if you did give us a like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video cheers Thank you.